Okay, so, uh, welcome back to Slice of Vanity. Sorry I didn't post an episode yesterday, I said I was going to, but, well, kind of said I was going to. Because I had plans to do it. <gasps> no, I think that's great. Probably not Um, But I had problems with the recording, so then I am um, trying to cat. I'm playing like a catch up game, and I'll show you in a minute how long that's going to end up taking. Uh, or if you just go to one of my previous videos, it tells you it goes like two hours, two hours, three hours, two hours, three hours. And it's like, right, so I have to play through all of that again. I can't cut any cutscenes. So, anyway, uh, I'm playing this part here because last time it glitched up during it when I originally recorded it. So, enjoy. Following the trail of spice shipments, we made our way up to Nunavut Bay, Canada the secret hub of Jean Besson's shipping empire. As a young man, he trekked across Canada to strike it rich during the gold rush of 1852. An avid prospector, he took some chances and ended up buried alive in an avalanche. Miraculously, the quick freeze kept him alive and 120 years later, thanks to global warming, he thawed out. A product of his time, he dreams of taming the wild north, damming every river and chopping down all the trees with progress delivered at the sharp end of an axe. Shipping spice for the Claw Gang proved a lucrative way to bankroll his one-man war against nature. And yet, I have to feel a little sorry for him. He's just a normal guy from the 1850s. Back in his day, he'd be a hero, but today, he's a villain. Either way, that man's got more than his fair share of the clockwork parts. What a low-tech guy like Jean Bassan is doing with robot parts is a mystery. I almost don't want to know. But as always, it's only a matter of time before I find out. Sly. Head way over there. That could have been bad though. Oh, Canada. I'm kidding. I would say if you watched my central video, I'm the same. If you watched it, then you would understand the whole part of. I'm British, so I don't really feel that much for Canada or America or other countries. Some are nice, I'll give them that, but who is this? A medium necklace. Mm, not bad, it's stealthing around here. Yeah, it's, uh, as I was saying in the last part, uh, uh, there's another way, there's like another snow area in uh, Sly 3. I know that much. From what I recall. Anything? No? Okay. Interesting. Let's try it. I keep forgetting about how the paraglider does it. Sometimes helps. Fair enough. That cabin may seem rusty, but don't be fooled. It's the control center for Jean Bisson's trade 
vampire. Sneak inside and raid his files. You're sure to find out where he keeps his clockwork parts. Ransacking his files doesn't sound hard. Now, climbing up a sheer rock wall? That'll be a challenge. You're in luck. Before Jean Besson took over, this used to be a popular destination for rock climbers. Some of their old wall hooks are still around. I'm guessing I just jump and hit the circle button to latch on. That's right. And remember to lean back before you spring off the hook. You'll get more altitude. Thanks for the tip. I'll give it a try. I don't know. I heard none of that. Okay, so... Okay, that's, that's just new. Slime, what are you doing? Jackpot, Sly! That's Sean Bisson! Looks like he didn't notice me come in. Just stay out of sight and take a picture of each of his train routes. They should narrow our search for his share of the clockwork parts. All right, I'm on it. Hello, Arpeggio again. Salutation, Mr. Arpeggio. Y'all got time to shoot the breeze? Of course, for you, chum, always. Although, must we communicate to you that dreadful speakerphone? Yeah, I can think better while my legs move. Pumps blood to your brain. Yes, of course. One must keep blood in one's brain. But do tell, is there some pressing matter you'd like to discuss? First off, are you still a-coming on schedule to get that Northern Lights battery? Yes, we're well underway. My plane should arrive at the end of the week. Bullseye. For a second, when are you gonna give me a look-see at that clockwork brain of yours? I'd sure like to buy it off you. We saw you cover this trunk tonight. You already got the lion's share of the parts. Would you take my meager portion of the robotic bird for your own? So I want to clarify what happened there. Easy there, partner. You're all up in a lather. It's just that I found some real use for the clock right. parts I got. It says, but that was one. So train. what happened this time? Robotic dude, he's beating the fire. Them trains will run all night and all day. I call them my iron horses. It's going to take me a while to understand them what the hell I'm doing here. Sounds like you're making capital use of your share of the robotic loot. But for now, the clockwork brain stays with me on the flip. Although, when I arrive to pick up the Northern Lights battery, I might be persuaded to give you a peek. So that one worked That's first. Fine. By the way, you ready to giddy up into Perry for the final hoedown? Yes, the blimp's hypnotist wavelengths. Is it because I've tried to take Route 3's first or something? Sounds like all you're missing is some northern light electricity. No, right. No, route 3's map. Object hidden. This is not hidden. What's hidden behind? Yeah, yeah, okay. So, uh, it's I not hidden I'll behind anything. It's probably him. All Star's logic is not working again. Hi. Oh, look at that beautiful face. Let's see. It's not hidden. Object is not hidden. Why? Fine then. Is this good enough? Right behind them? Sly, did you hear that? We saw to hit the iron horse blueprints in his trophy bass. Head for the fish on top of the fireplace and steal those plants. Excellent! Now get out of that cabin before you're spotted. You all saw that, I hit that three times, even more than three times, that map, and yet, no, the object was hidden. So 
Where the hell am I heading? All over there? So am I allowed to beat these people up? <laughs> Lies. Wait, how can he have a double attack? Moonshine! Well, here's a safe. That was nowhere near hitting me. <sighs> so, hit them back, they then get a chance to hit and then swing and hit. Hit, swing and hit. That was a that was unfair because that look they have a double hit. Once I hit them once, they then get a chance to hit down on me. See there? See look, hit if I hit again before he swings, I'll get hurt. So they get a double attack, which is unfair. Where's the next one? Way over there, I was just You know, don't grab on the edge. To help. When you made it last time, make it this time. Can I not grab that edge? I guess not. Yeah. Oh, it's our hideout. Okay. <sighs> okay, right, so where am I going? Oh there. It's not the best colour they chose. Robbie Robbie Ooh, a small nugget. Ah yes, the gold rush and whatnot. What the frig are they? They have turrets on them. There you go. Taking again the infamous route. If you're wondering. Uh, 
Uh, that, um, by that I'm meaning an infamous, just the many ways of travelling, one of them is, I mean by that, like, uh, scaling along, uh, electronic wire thingies. Yeah, no! Oh, damn. Interesting. That should really set that off. I'm not going to stay around for any else. By the way, this one's most protected. The last trophy bass is above the fireplace. Be careful. Attention all cabin guards. I've heard tell from the boys at Ponderosa Cabin or someone been in my blueprints. Everyone stay sharp. There's ain't no soup kick. Yeah, there's no chance I'm doing this. No chance I have. See, how am I supposed to take them out and then hide? There's like nowhere to hide. There's nowhere to hide, and I'm getting. Brutally shot at a dozen times. Oh, now they're trying to get fancy and shit in front of me. Very interesting. Bollocks! The reason that's bollocks is because I hit him perfectly. Killed one. Right, you're going because you're the easiest just to go there now. <sighs> Missed. Still out. I can run, but I feel like I should really take these guys out. I don't care if you have loot. There we go, that's what was supposed to have happened. And just like this. I shan't have litting music because I just can't be bothered now. If you want litting music, say you want litting music. Armed with all three blueprints, we should be able to isolate and track the iron horse trains through that satellite dish. Top of the mountain, huh? Shouldn't take long. Time limited one, which I can't do yet because I still need to actually go inside the. I would, if I wanted to do that, I would have to then get inside the uh, uh, the safe house, which I'm not allowed to go in there now. Oh, I have a bell right near here. This is great. We've got total access to the train's GPS system. It's all on my computer. Head back to the same house. I'll crunch some numbers and give you and Murray the rundown. That eagle. See now, I wish it didn't do this because I would like to grab that. Enjoy. Thanks to Sly's efforts, we now know the location of all three of the local clockwork parts. Two lugs and a stomach. John Besson has grafted each piece to the engine in one of his iron horse trains. This improvement allows the trains to run all night and all day. We won't have the luxury of sneaking in while they're stopped. While they're in motion, the only way aboard is through a hatch on the caboose roof. 
which unfortunately has been locked down. These need to go. First, collect the spice gas from the balloons above town, and then land on the back of the caboose to blow off the locks. Once the way is cleared, I'll suit up and jump into Iron Horse number one while it passes near town. With some luck, we'll have the first clockwork lug in a few hours. Interesting. Uh, I don't see why not. We should. I'll try one. Anything. Hmm. I want the horror pack. <laughs> But as you can see, I've went down from being at like 4,000 odds down. So let's see whose mission is first. Uh, just slides. Goddamn sly. Is it going to be like three slides for each train thing or what? So there's one, there's one. I don't see a third anywhere. What's his name? Space in the sky, a friend in need. Space in the sky, a friend in need. A friend in need, I wonder. I'll let you just keep thinking about that and I'll go to spices in the sky. He ran off. If I run into the if I run into their shovel, I get hurt. Try. Okay, see now why am I here? I asked here. Uh, where am I going? I'm going up here, so I think I can make it along here. Right. I think I have to climb back up here now. Shit. Okay. Run. No, there's one behind him. So I have to wait for a while. Is the other one following? Because I know a way to deck these people over. And uh, that failed. How can your gun do that? Die! Who shot me? Their guns cannot do that! Their guns are unfair. It's over here, I need to go. They like implementing stuff from Sly 1, don't they? <sighs> God damn. Be right back when I'm back. I need to think how I'm getting back up here. Not straight here. <laughs> I was wondering where the hell I was going. to get up there to collect the spice gas. Murray's already commandeered this ice plane. Jump on its strut and he'll fly you up to a good paragliding altitude. Oh, and strap on a special vacuum backpack. It'll automatically collect the spice gas after you've popped a balloon. Sounds like fun. Once you've collected enough gas, you'll have to land directly on the train's caboose. Why directly on the caboose? The natured spice gas is very unstable at lower altitudes. Unless you land on the caboose, you won't have time to get the gas tank to the lock before it blows up. So you're saying I either land on the caboose or get blown to bits? That's correct. Chemistry can be a harsh mistress. My hat keeps 
flying about the place. Hang on tight. We're going up. I bet I'll end up having to play as more than I doing? Oh right, I have to, it's the back of it, I have to collect a bunch of them. Uh, fail. I think because I, like, if I take all the kind of far, like, they're far away from each other, that is going to be a major problem. So. One more, and I can't get one more. So, find a caboose and try for a landing. <laughs> so close. I need, uh, it's the strategy for going for them. I, that's I, I think I already fucked up when I chose to go for the other ones. The first one, right? Boing. This is what I mean, I need to now try and get all of these, or get all the high ones, get all the low ones which then lead me to get the high ones. Yes, 
fly. Never blow anything up whilst going under a bridge. See, so, you now I should be able to get in here, but no. Okay, right. That's going to be the end of this part. Uh, next part, we'll be doing a friend in need and whatever the other mission is, because that's a friend in need up there. So, let's go back to the safe house and save. But thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked uh, and you want to see more, comment, like, subscribe, favorite, and comment if you want to see more of this or anything else. I'm, I was, I've been working on of like uh, the Ratchet and Clank two challenges or Saints Row three. Try right, anything? No. Okay. Thanks for watching. It means a lot if you like them. So, see you later. Bye.